Well, currently, laparoscopic myomectomy is increasing in utilization. Up until a few years ago, open myomectomy was more common. If a patient has very large fibroids, they're almost required to have an open myomectomy. Many of the patients that proceed to uterine fibroid embolization are those patients that have large uterine fibroids. So if you presented to me with symptomatic uterine fibroids, it's more likely that you might end up with an open myomectomy if you turn down the chance to have uterine fibroid embolization.